We're going to find the limit of this sequence as n goes to infinity. My first reminder for you is that 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And if you multiply all those numbers out, you end up getting 120. We could write n factorial as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way until you get down to 2 times 1. The reason I bring this up is because we have this sequence here and it would be nice if we could simplify it a little bit so that we could find its limit. The first thing that you would do, of course, is consider what would happen as n goes to infinity. Well, you'll notice that the numerator would go to infinity. You would basically get infinity factorial. And the denominator would do the same. So you have infinity over infinity. That's an indeterminate form. So we need to simplify this. So let's rewrite the numerator. If we have 4n plus 1 factorial, we could write that as 4n plus 1 times 4n plus 1 minus 1, which is just 4n, times 4n minus 1, times 4n minus 1 minus another 1, which is 4n minus 2, and so on. You could do the same thing with the denominator. We start with the number 4n minus 1 and then we subtract 1 from that. And we keep doing that until we get down to the numbers 2 times 1. And now you'll notice that a lot of cancellation happens. In fact, every single term cancels except for the 4n plus 1 and the 4n in the numerator. So our sequence a sub n simplifies to 4n plus 1 times 4n. Now if we consider what happens as n goes to infinity, we no longer have infinity over infinity. We have infinity times infinity. So this sequence goes to infinity as n goes to infinity. That is not an indeterminate form anymore. The answer is just infinity. So that's it for that problem. I hope it helped. Let's check out the next one.